y'all see that we must be crazy we're going fishing though <laughs> <laughs> oh my God. We've been here for hours. Well, we've anchored, or we just anchored on a spot that's several piles of rubble, and we're we have a north wind, so we're we anchored up on the north side of all this rubble, and we're gonna try to chum all these bottom fish to us, bring the action to us. Uh, we'll see how that goes. I'm not sure how the current's running today, but I think we're anchored all right. A little bit off the reef, but that's good because it'll be easier for us to pull them away from the, anything that might break us off hopefully and uh, looks like the anchor just took hold we're spinning around and we don't have rubble right beneath us but that's fine because I know we're within 20 feet of it so we can pull the fish off of that so you got trigger fish already yeah we're getting activity at the surface back here in our chumps like already so sure that's true I, kind of like, I want a big bait right off the bat. Hopefully we can avoid these trigger fish. Let's see. I'll crank this drag down about as tight as I can get it. Oh yeah, that's trigger fish tearing it up. We may have a problem getting baits down through them. I think they I don't think I have anything off. that'll I may have to put a heavier lead on to get it down quicker. Probably should just set it in the rod holder. Circle and just let him eat it. Get something else going. See him, they're hitting it. Without bait again. Let me drop a live one down. See if that makes a difference. Their nose is really fragile, so I usually hook them right in front of the dorsal through the back. So they stay on the hook longer. He's being chased. Oh, there we go. Out of his mouth. I bet I could pitch a. Just put a hook on and a little piece of cut bait. To be honest. <laughs> Holy hell. Look at this. This is insane. <laughs> All right. It's a little bit juvenile, but yeah. I'm not even going to touch them. I'm just going to flip them right over. What was that? Uh oh, get out of that net, buddy. <laughs> get out of that net. I tossed him right in the chum nut. Get out of that net. Bag. There we go. <laughs> Sorry, man. <laughs> it's crazy. Let me see that. You want to drop one in? Yeah, sure, I'll drop one. They're not real big. Why don't you drop it over on this side? You can come on over here if you want. I'll get out of your way. We got three looking at it. Look, I think your trigger took it. That snapper got it. Yeah. Oh boy. Light tackle on snapper fishing. Of course, I left that 
line <laughs> loose. No, my good. bad. No, you're good. That's still got a part of a spot on it. Thing, or what? <laughs> no, but I had to. It was about to come out of my hands. Whew. All right, so we basically had our fill of uh, catching juvenile snapper. The uh, grouper bite didn't pan out so well. So I guess we're going to head uh, a little closer near shore and uh, maybe pitch a bait at a redfish if we could find a school of them cruising the beach. Game plans are always changing, we're always doing something new. Sometimes we can fish in one spot all day and catch exactly what we're going out for. Our times we got to go around and do a little bit of hunting. But nonetheless, it's a great day out here. I mean, it's flat. Sun's out, warmed up quite a bit. It's not 30 degrees anymore. I still have like three shirts on, but you know, I'm cool. So to be completely honest, this is my first time ever doing anything like this, but this is cool. I mean, we're 50 yards from the from the uh, Gulf side of Pensacola Beach. We're in about eight foot of water, and it's hard to tell how deep it is. I mean, it looks like it's three or two foot underneath of us. But we're just cruising these shallows looking for a redfish. I actually saw a decent one just a minute ago too. It was a little ways up here when we saw the last one. We spooked it and actually spun back around, so maybe we'll come back up on it again. did manage was countless snapper. We got to play with some dolphins this morning. That was pretty cool. Yeah. That's Probably the highlight of the trip. Stick around. Keep watching our social media. I know uh, working on GoldCoastGills.com. Check out our Instagram as well. Continue following us and sharing on Facebook like everybody's been doing. Thanks to y'all on uh, Facebook for sharing our sharing our posts and our content. Oh, that jazz. I'm so tired of getting the picture. <laughs> Alright, send them on. Um, shit, I don't know. You put me on the spot. <laughs> we'll see y'all later. Try to navigate. <laughs>